The interest surrounding time-sensitive networking has been growing for many years. But the transition from theory to reality has only just begun. So while you may have read many articles about TSN, and surely watched some videos, there may still be a gap in your knowledge. And that gap might be real-world exposure to the practical side of TSN. In this three-part series, I will share my experience of TSN and the Hirschman Bobcat without going into too much technical detail. In part one, I will provide you with some information about the Hirschman Bobcat and what Hirschman has done with it to simplify the deployment of a TSN network. If you are new to TSN or have struggled with some of the concepts, you will appreciate how we've reduced the complexity. Part two is a live demonstration of how to configure a TSN network. If you already have Bobcat hardware, or you have a small budget to buy two devices, you can gain some first-hand experience by following along. Part three is another live demo, this time showing how to test and demonstrate the TSN network. Seeing the demonstration in part three will really reinforce your understanding of TSN. So let's get started. I don't want to spend time explaining TSN because there are many good videos available already on YouTube. But it's worth taking a few moments to clarify the benefits. TSN combines the concepts from other technologies. Real-time field bus protocols are deterministic, which means that they have predictable data transmission times and delays across a network. TSN also provides this determinism. But Field buses have limited bandwidth. Since its inception in the 1980s, Ethernet has offered ever-increasing bandwidth to keep pace with modern applications. TSN runs over Ethernet to take advantage of the bandwidth. Field buses are typically limited to a single application, whereas Ethernet can support multiple applications simultaneously. TSN also has this advantage. Finally, and very importantly, TSN is standardized. This allows users to pick the best of breed equipment without the fear of getting locked into a single manufacturer. The Bobcat is a DIN rail mounted industrial Ethernet switch from Hirschman. It's the latest in a long line of switching products dating back more than 20 years. It supports a comprehensive portfolio of switching, security, and redundancy functionality, making it the ideal choice for many industrial network scenarios. But one function which makes the Bobcat stand out from the crowd is the support for time-sensitive networking. As of 2021, the Bobcat supports IEEE 802.1 QBV scheduling, which enables the mapping of traffic priority queues to time slots across a network. The Bobcat offers two time synchronization protocols. IEEE 802.1 AS is traditionally used with TSN. As I mentioned earlier, the Bobcat reduces the complexity of TSN by supporting fewer priority queues, 
using templates to assign the queues, and offers user-friendly graphical configuration interfaces. I will cover these topics in more detail later. When I talk with network administrators about TSN, the same few comments come up again and again. I would like to take some time to answer these questions, as the information will benefit everyone. There are many TSN ready switches on the market. This is true. TSN ready does not have a defined meaning but it's reasonable to assume that these switches have hardware that could support TSN, but they do not yet have the TSN software. So in fact, they do not offer TSN today. The Bobcat hardware was designed from day one to support TSN. We've now released the TSN software, meaning any Bobcat switch can be used to build real TSN networks, both for evaluation and for live operation. There are very few operational TSN networks. Again, this is true, and the reason is clear. There are very few TSN switches which can support TSN networks. And for the sake of openness, I will also say that there are not so many TSN-enabled end devices on the market. This is catch-22. But for the early adopters and those who like to be at the cutting edge of technology, the Bobcat can be used to build operational TSN networks today. Even without the end devices, TSN networks are vastly more deterministic than standard Ethernet networks. And creating TSN networks will help us all to escape the Catch-22 paradox. Switches which support TSN are expensive. This makes sense. TSN requires powerful hardware, which is expensive. The demand for TSN switches is only just beginning, so the manufacturers cannot benefit from economy of scale. As there are only a few manufacturers offering these switches, the consumer cannot benefit from competition. The Bobcat is the first switch to break this cycle. Hirschman is offering TSN software free of charge. It runs on any Bobcat switch, even the lowest cost version. So you do not need to spend a fortune just to get started. TSN switches require expensive configuration software. There's no doubt that to build large TSN networks, which operate with nanosecond precision, the network administrator will need the assistance of configuration software. This is because as the network gets larger, the complexity increases exponentially. But to create a smaller network without such operational precision, the configuration can be calculated manually or even estimated. The Bobcat switch has a command line interface. TSN can also be configured via the built-in graphical user interface. And to configure TSN on up to 16 Bobcat switches simultaneously, the network administrator can use the free of charge version of Industrial High Vision. Watch part two of this video series to see how it's done. TSN is a complex technology. 
<laughs> yes, it is, as I already described. This is especially true for large networks supporting many applications with extreme time precision. But not all networks are like that. With the Bobcat switch, we've reduced the configuration complexity and designed simple configuration interfaces. This means that the Bobcat can still cover many TSN deployment scenarios, but the network administrators do not need to be experts to create the TSN networks. I will cover the reduced complexity in the next chapter of this video. There are no opportunities for me to test TSN. Until now, TSN enabled switches have been few and far between and very expensive. It's been hard to justify the cost in order to learn the technology and evaluate its usefulness to your organization. The Bobcat is changing the game. If you already have some Bobcat switches in your test lab, just download the free of charge software. If not, you will need to buy a couple. Two switches are enough for testing. As I mentioned previously, TSN will run on even the lowest cost Bobcat switches. Although you might consider a higher software specification switch if you want to test other advanced functions like network security. And don't forget Industrial High Vision, which is free of charge to configure and monitor up to 16 devices. Okay, I've mentioned the reduced complexity many times. So what exactly did I mean? Let's start with the gate control lists. TSN data transmission is divided into cycles. The gate control lists define which priority queues are assigned to which time slots in the cycle and the order and duration of the time slots within the cycle. The TSN standards define eight priority queues. This is a lot. Only the biggest network would ever need eight priority queues. So the Bobcat offers three. This gives you two time slots for high priority queues, which you can assign to any applications. And that still leaves one time slot for lower priority queues, which can be used for best effort traffic. The TSN standards allow the time slots, including the buffers between the time slots, to be transmitted in any order. As you can imagine, there are a huge number of combinations. So the Bobcat offers eight templates which cover the commonly used combinations. This greatly reduces the possibility of a configuration error. But even with the templates, you still have the opportunity to configure the transmission duration for each time slot. So you have great flexibility to match your gate control list with your real world applications. Simplified cycle times is the second technique used in the Bobcat to reduce the complexity of TSN. As I mentioned before, TSN transmission time is divided into cycle times. The TSN standards do not limit the number of cycle times of different durations which could be used in a network. To simplify configuration, 
The Bobcat provides a single cycle time per switch, which in reality equates to a single cycle time per network. This greatly simplifies the TSN configuration. For nanosecond precision, each TSN port on a switch should have its own cycle start time. For simplification, the Bobcat provides the same start time on each port. This could reduce the precision of the timing across the network. But for most scenarios, the performance will be within tolerances. The third technique used to reduce the complexity of TSN has nothing to do with TSN itself. This time we decided to reduce the complexity of configuring TSN. As I already said, it's possible to configure the Bobcat switch with the command line interface. For many users, this works fine. But some users prefer a graphical interface. The point and click interface in the Bobcat is certainly simple. But we decided to go a step further. You remember the templates I discussed earlier? In the graphical user interface, you will only find two templates. One for a cycle time with two time slots, and one for a cycle time with three time slots. It cannot get easier than a simple choice between the two options. Of course, once you become more proficient with TSN, you may want to use some of the other templates. So these options are available in the command line interface and industrial high vision. And that's it. Templates, cycle times, and graphical user interfaces three ways we've reduced the complexity of deploying TSN to get you onto the first rung of the TSN ladder. Before we wrap up, I will quickly show you some example screenshots from the Bobcat graphical user interface. Clockwise from the top, the TSN navigation menu, the cycle time configuration, the two time slot templates, and the gate control lists for a single port. Just pause the video if you want to take a longer look. And now a couple of screenshots from Industrial High Vision. At the top, you see the TSN navigation menu. The central column shows two Bobcat switches being configured simultaneously. On the right, you see the eight templates, including guard bands and traffic classes, which are the technical terms for buffers and priorities. Below, you see the gate control lists for a port. It's hard to get an impression of software just from screenshots. So if you would like to watch me <laughs> configuring TSN on Bobcat switches using the graphical user interface and industrial high vision, take a look at part two of this video series. That brings us to the end of the theoretical part of this video series. In this part, you had a very brief introduction to the TSN functionality in the Bobcat. You learned the answers to some common questions about TSN. You were introduced to some of the functionality Hirschman has developed 
to reduce the complexity of TSN in the Bobcat switch. And you got your first taster of the graphical user interfaces. Parts two and three are both practical. Part two is a live demonstration of how to configure a TSN network using the Hirschman Bobcat switches and the graphical interface tools. Part three demonstrates how to test the TSN configuration. I look forward to seeing you once more in part two.